All right, it's that time. Let's talk about batteries. Uh, I'm gonna sound like a broken record here, if maybe for some of you, but for some others, it's it's gonna be new information. But anyways, today I wanna talk to you guys about battery cells. These are the Boston Swing and Sonatas. And um, if you've been following me, you know that we got somewhere back like a few months ago or something, we got like 50,000 of these cells. And half of them were like these, loose sonatas right and then the other half were the swing we got a few of these loose ones like this but mostly they're in these uh modules and we offered these modules some of you guys have bought these and you guys hopefully are building some cool stuff with them but then eventually what i ended up doing is making some modules to make them more useful because you know these are just kind of loose cells these have this plastic but you know they're not connected to anything so you still have to figure out how to connect them and stuff and so that's what i ended up doing uh and today i want to show you not the ones for the swings well actually yeah the one module that i'm going to show you today works for both but i designed it for the sonata ones here it is these are those modules they're 56 cells so basically eight cells in parallel and then seven cells in series right so that would make 24 volts right 7s 8p that's written in there and those cells together can put about 80 amps each one of these cells can do about 10 amps and so 80 amps uh it's uh, you add up of the capacity right uh and it's about just over one kilowatt or 1080 watt hours uh, the nominal voltage is 20, 25.9. The uh, nominal capacity is 42.4 amp hours, right? So you multiply that by the voltage. It's uh, just over one um, kilowatt hour. Now, the cool thing about these cells is that these are high quality. Yeah, maybe you haven't heard of them. I used to, in the old times, I used to say only buy from the main five, right? Sanyo, Panasonic. Uh, LG, Samsung, and Sony, right? Well, that I think still true today, but there are some specialty cells sort of like these ones, Sonatas. They're not very popular, but these are high quality because you only see them in medical applications. So when you go to the hospital, you have like, you know, devices that are like keeping you alive or running, I don't know, it's just equipment around uh, the little carts that the hospitals have. If you take apart those batteries, uh, very likely that you're gonna see sonatas or swings, right? And so, yeah, that means these are high quality. They passed a bunch of, you know, testing and stuff, right? And so they're made up to really high spec. And lately there are several sources, not just the 50,000 cells that we got a few months ago, but also Battery Hookup has a bunch of loose uh, swing cells, right? And so as a result of that, that's why I started making these modules. These modules will make it really easy for you to go from something that, you know, it's like this, that it's not very useful other than, you know, it's a cell, to now a module, which now you can connect something in here, and now that's 24 volts, right? Of course, I forgot to put in here that it must be used with the BMS. Only crazies like me do uh, projects where you don't use BMSs, but everyone else should be, especially if you're gonna be installing these, uh, and leave them there and you just need them to work together, which is what I designed these for, stationary applications. Sort of something like this. Look at this little card that I made. This is just using that uh, X-Rail, I think, or it's called, you know, 2020 extruded, whatever thing. Uh, Amazon, you can buy that. You can buy it all kinds of sizes and stuff. Uh, I will make a video showing you how to make one of these cards, but for right now, I just wanna show you that you could build this thing and then can put these modules in there and that's 10 kilowatt hour right there so you do one that's twice as high as that and then you'll you're looking at you know 20 kilowatt hours very easily uh in in a, in a future video i will build that and i will show you how to route the cables maybe i'll even make some boards in here to allow you to just make it better right so these uh modules are going to come in two versions i mean you know it's the same module but I've been playing around with the idea of like these ones. They just have a little pad here where you can where you can solder your own cable and connector, right? You have your choice. You could do whatever you want. Um, 
And so whatever, you know, load you're going to put in there, you just have to keep that in mind. But also, I've been toying with the idea of maybe putting these little studs in here. And this is the first one that I built. And, um, yeah, you just put studs in there and then you just use the nut to tighten that up in there. And so whenever you, if you're building a large system and you have that, maybe it's going to be a lot easier to have those studs in there. And then you just put a board on top of that and then that's your bus bar. So now your positive runs over here on top of the cells and then your negative, right? And you can do wide traces in here and maybe doubled up on the layers and stuff like what, depending on, you know, what you're running. But it's gonna be a lot easier to do that when if you have just a bunch of little studs and you put them in there. So these are gonna be available in stud studded and also just with the little regular uh, pad so that you can solder, solder your own connector. Uh, as you can see here, this module, even though I designed it for the Sonatas, well, the swings are pretty much the same size. There, I think there's a tiny bit difference because these seem a little bit loose on here but they definitely do work. And so if you wanna push power, more power than the uh, swing can do, these are higher power rating than these, right? Um, then you could you could do that, right? Of course, there's, I don't know if I would recommend to build this module sort of like this for like an application, like an e-bike or something. I, I don't know. I think these are very good for stationary stuff, right? And so maybe some testing, maybe some adventures, one out you want to try it out and maybe it'll pan out or whatever but as of right now i'm yeah i'm, I'm uh i designed these for stationary applications where they don't move a lot because they're kind of basic see they don't have stuff holding the cells on the sides here uh and it's pretty basic the the pcb board's just going around now they do mash together and so uh it should be a pretty strong box that we made here, right? And then all of these are spot welded here, right? So that's, it's, it feels pretty sturdy and stuff, but I don't know how well it would uh, deal with like a lot of vibrations, like in a e-bike or something like that, or motorcycle or something like that, right? So as of right now, yeah, I'm trying to, uh, these are designed for stationary, sort of like that, right? So you're gonna put them in a little car like that, you put, you put a shelf, you can connect them all together, and then you charge them, discharge them, you know, and they just stay there. That's what where these are going to be. Anyways, these are not uh, energy dense enough to be, you know, uh, compelling for uh, e-bikes or motorcycles or vehicles, right? These are, you know, they're kind of big and heavy. And so these are great for stationary where like the gravimetric and volumetric uh, measurements are, are, the specs are not super critical, right? So these are perfect for that. So anyways, these are the Boston Power uh, modules. Mostly swing, no, no, mostly sonatas, but you could do it swing. Now, I have made this project open source, so you can go to pcbway.com and then you can download these files. And, and then you can go, if you want the swings, we don't have them, but you can go to our partners at Battery Hookup, right? And you can order the cells. I will put the links down in the bottom of this video so you can find those cells in there and then you can get the boards directly from the uh you know the 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 uh pcbway.com and then that way you make this module yourself and you pay the least amount of money that way I, you remove me from the middle of that transaction because all i do is just gonna mark it up right and so then you end up paying uh, a little bit more money or sometimes a, a lot more. <laughs> uh, but that way, for those of you that are DIY, I'm trying to hit everybody. You know, so a lot of people complain that it's like, hey, your your products are not completed. It always requires you to build something. And yeah, the reason for that is because I'm trying to save you money. I'm trying to provide batteries here uh, at an affordable price. Now, if I have to touch the stuff, I'm in California. It's like the, one of the most expensive places in the planet so if i have to touch it then i have to mark it up and i have to mark it up you know considerably just so that i can make a living and i can pay you know employees and stuff like that so i'm trying to uh remove myself as much from that right and so that's why i offer all these projects that are diy i'm mostly diy so you have to do something uh for them right but you know i'm trying to get so that it's easy and you know help people out and stuff so I'm also, that's why we're offering these. These are available 
on the website right now. These are the blue ones are the productions. On these ones right here, they're a little bit different colors because those were different batches that I was trying to get the dimensions right. I was moving things around. I was like trying little things here and there. And then I would, you know, the minimum you can order is five boards. So then I would build this five and then be like, okay, we got to change that. And then I do another one. And then finally we got to the blue ones. Uh, and so the blue ones are production. These are the ones that we built a bunch of them. They're in stock right now. So if you want to build a large battery system, uh, this will help you. I do have another video where I show you what, how to connect a BMS in here, right? Because this is uh, kind of, I mean, it's not proprietary. It's just an open source is very popular connector, but if you are not like us dealing with batteries all the time then this might be like a weird connector right and so if you need to connect a bms then we do have a tiny little device uh, i mean a little board right here that allows you to just put a, a little connector in here from here there and then you just have uh, terminals screw terminals so that you can connect your bms on here right if you're using a single board you would use something like this if you're using multiple boards then you would daisy chain those right making sure after they're all like balanced right the same voltage then you connect the cables the the ribbon cables in here and then you connect those to your bms and there's a way you can either connect these in parallel right so you can double your capacity or you can connect them in series so that you can double your voltage because 24 uh, and 24 makes 48 and that is one of the standards very very popular standards for running an entire you know systems that are you know house size right you can we want to run an entire home completely off the grid you're gonna be somewhere around 48 volts right which that's uh, what all the big inverters are at and so this is how you would do it you would pair two of these boards and then uh, connect the BMS in here and then you would uh, yeah connect this in series and then now you get 48 and I have a video I'll link it down there in the description also where I showed you how to use one, some of these little devices that we're making to help you do that. Now, there's also another way where you can, you know, connect all of these in parallel and then all of these in parallel. And that becomes one, you know, five kilowatt hour, uh, 24 volt battery. And then this becomes another one. Then you connect this in series. And so it's, it's just there's a lot of uh, ways you can go about it. There's no wrong way. Well, I guess there's some ways that are better than others depending on your application. But um, yeah, you can connect these in, in many different ways. These are just 24 volt modules. You have access to all the balance leads right there. They're labeled, they're marked. Uh, we sell all the little devices that you can connect on and then you can use your own BMS. Now uh, for systems, I will design other boards that are gonna, you know, I'm gonna incorporate some BMSs that are available and stuff so that it's just easier for people to put their BMS in there and you don't have to worry about all the routing and stuff like that. Um, but that's coming next. For right now, these are just available right now. These are kind of limited. Like I said, there was only 50,000 cells, so it's like 25,000 of these. So these will go. They're gonna go, uh, I might not get to the part where I'm designing like a whole system so you can run this because by that time, you know, they're, <laughs> they're all gone. And then I don't know when it will be the next time that we'll find these. Uh, they, they're they not very common, right? I think uh, 2170s are probably a lot common and then uh, 18650s are still around and stuff. But these ones are, you know, they're kind of specialty. So that's why I felt like I needed to do this much work designing these these custom uh modules so that people can are able to use them and stuff right and if you don't want to build it in your home you could just go to jack five find them all right i want to thank you for watching these videos and all your support throughout the years uh and all my battery projects and all my crazy ideas stay tuned i have a few more uh batteries that i'm gonna be testing that i'm gonna you know torturing and stuff like that all right we'll see you guys on the next video bye